girl on crack kill. She had a hook to it. That's you. Oh. Right. Oh, it depends on the man. Did give all us. So good. Can we dance, please? No, I'm doing an interview. So this was just put together quickly for our cabaret. Very quickly. For the Christmas cabaret. In my summer home. And we will be here until next week. Singing Christmas cabaret. So that's all he has. But now we're gonna film we're gonna film a real commercial now, my Komi or Bajinski. It's gonna be a real, a real commercial for cabaret. So it's just this. Oh I see. And then he's done, and then at the end it's great. He does. Hundred and seventeen views. So at least some people like us. There it is. And I'll give you a poster, and the way we go. Where do you want? Um, where do you want to film this? Whatever you're comfortable with. Um, okay, we can't go into the main hall. It's being used. Church. But eat that too. Library's being used for you. I can That's church. Yeah. That's church. I can bring the poster in here if you want. You can do it in here. <clears throat> you want to do it here? If you want, yeah. Okay, bring a chair around. Bring a poster in. Bring a chair around here. So they'll be able to laugh. Laugh? So they'll be able to laugh. Yeah. 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 Um, here's the poster. Okay. Yeah. 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 His poster, Ior Bachinsky and Ranko Hut. An evening of comedy and music and stuff. And it's going to be filmed for a 262 part YouTube presentation. <laughs> uh, each part will be um, 12 seconds long. <laughs> and uh, we need lots of hits until you go. No, I don't want to listen to this no more. Uh, 16th of April, come and see us. And. Um, it's going to be really funny, huh? Do you think? Well... Do you want to? Yes, I But you're Ior Bachinsky. Yeah, that's right. I'll be here. There's no other Ior Bachinsky. I will be here. And uh, and it's going to be a cash bar and have yourself a drink and we'll have some pretzels and stuff like this. Doors open 7.30, show starts at 9 o'clock. We're giving Ukrainians an hour and a half to get here. Because <laughs> yeah. I figured, you know, if somebody comes at 9.30, there's no hope for them. That's right. And we're going to have lighting, oh, geez. and 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 uh, microphones, yeah. and music, and costumes, and um, dancing girls. No, dancing no, girls. No, 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 no dancing girls. No girls. No girls. No girls. Well, well, can't afford girls. Can't afford. No, <laughs> not this. Is our first one. Can't afford them yet. Uh, and you know that's about it. Uh, just just come and um, it's um, because it's nine o'clock. I would suggest. You know, children leave them at home. Our our comedy is 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 very uh, children friendly most of the time, but sometimes it can get a little nice. Little sometimes we sometimes we're we not so friendly. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, not our fault, but we do that sometimes, and and so it would just be wise to maybe, you know, leave the kids at uh, leave the kids at home. Get babysitter. We can tell you what we're gonna do more or less. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do the the offerma of the prosvita. We're gonna premiere is, this in the Ukrainian opera. It's a new uh, new uh, Ukrainian opera, uh, which is I guess the the other end of the spectrum. We did the Ukrainians on Broadway, which is a Ukrainian musical, and now we're doing an opera because. Pan oh, we wanted to do an opera. An opera. So we're going to do an opera. It's really good. It's a, it's a typical Ukrainian success story about a, a Ukrainian brain surgeon that comes here to Canada and secures himself uh, a job uh, as a janitor in the Prosvita the, Hall. Prosvita Hall. And uh, <laughs> you know now these guys from Ukraine. You know it's you know they come here. They're doctors, but they can't practice. That's no. the problem. They have to go back to school for 15 years. They don't. So they be, do what they can do. I, you know, I mean, I know one guy in, in Sudbury who was a janitor, he was, he was a doctor. Uh, the guy, he, he could perform uh, 
open heart surgery with a with a mop. I mean, the guy was <laughs> very. T very I know talented. a guy. I know a guy, a Canadian guy, who was a, a janitor here in Canada. And he, he went to Ukraine and he's a heart surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. It right. works both ways. Yeah, it does. No, yeah, I'm so that's a, that's a that's a story line behind the uh, offerma of the prosvita. He comes to prosvita hall very much like this one, you know, here at Ono, and and uh, of course he lives in the crawl space uh, under the prosvita hall, and you tell me a bit, you know. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And um, stuff, and he and he and he falls in love with a, one of the ladies that. that there's a cook in 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 the kitchen, and uh, of course uh, sparks fly and uh, whatever. But uh, he, he has a terrible accident in the kitchen. He he was going to go over and ask Varvara to go out and you know, kind of on a date. And uh, he slipped. There was uh, very slippery in the kitchen. He slipped and he fell. And they were frying squat. They were making hops. You know, they were frying squarke, and his face went into the squarke. And of course, right away, the women. They, they, cabbage. they get a leaf of cabbage and stuck it to his face while well, it's stuck there for so, and uh, he became the Oferma, Oferma of the Prosvita. Makes life miserable for all the Ukrainian organizations. That's right, he's kind of a mystical guy. All, yeah. He's uh, all the aneurysms on the on the second that's floor. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So and it's it's very, very beautiful. Uh the music in it's great and uh yeah, there's that, and we have our commercials, and we have a couple of funny songs, and some serious stuff too. There'll be some Cossack stuff, and stuff. and uh, just to, to you know, and uh, then there might be a couple of surprises with audience participation. Yes, we might get some audience participation, yep. bring them up and uh, dress them up. Yeah, I we're uh, Father Walter Makarenko will be here. Um, uh, I phoned him to find out we were going to have this cabaret during uh, during peace. Right, and uh, I phoned him and I asked him um, what he thought of that idea, and he says, "Well, as your priest, he says, because um, I have to, I have to qualify this. Father Walter is one of my dearest friends in the world, and so, so he said to me, he says, as your priest, he says, it's not a good idea to have it during Lent, and he says, but as your friend, he says, shut this duty. Apparently, you can't say that as my priest, shut this duty, but um, so we're having it two weeks after Easter." And Father Walter will be here. It was important for him to be here because we need a we someone need him to bless someone us. to bless us, and we need a priest to pick on too. And uh, that's right. And when we die, he has yeah, to bury us. yeah, he'll have to bury us, and maybe we can get a deal in the funeral, you know, <laughs> subway funeral home. Yeah, and all our sponsors. I mean, our sponsors have been great. Uh, we've written many uh, slogans and uh, jingles for these companies, like Cariochi Optical. Uh, you know. And, uh, Lest we forget Ukrainian love boat. Oh, the love boat, Ukrainian love boat, which is in of itself a contradiction. That's where in terms. Ukrainians take off their clothes. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. And if you get lucky, we all will know. We all will know. And that rhymes. That's right. That's right. That's in the song. That's the uh, love boat. Uh, all these, like I said, uh, Timurniatkos. Uh, we even have a couple of Christmas carols because, as you know, yes. the Christmas season will soon be upon us. That's right. And we'll do night before Christmas. Oh. And uh, maybe we'll do Slavko the Hutsul Reindeer. Slavko the Hutsul Reindeer. Yeah. And uh, a few things like that. And it should be a fun evening. Oh, yeah. Come out. It's 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 uh, $20. Yeah. $20. $20. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And in support of... Kalina. Of the Kalina Dance, the Performing Arts Group. So uh, it's, it's for a good cause. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll have, we'll have a lot of fun. Uh, and... Uh, We'll be singing some material off our new albums coming up. There's a new Cossack album coming out, and we'll do a few numbers from it. The new comedy album, which will be called Tuesday Night Live with Chevy Chenko. And uh, we'll be doing some material from that. And uh, maybe a couple of things from the new Buri album that's going to be coming out. The name of the new Buri album is called Finally. That's what it's called. Buria Finally. That's an exclusive. It's an exclusive, yes. It's It's been 13 years, 12 years since uh, Now and Then came out. And uh, this one's going to be called Simply Buria, Finally. Here, here's your record, leave me alone kind of thing, you know? So uh, the Kal Kozak album's going to be called War Kozak Children of History. And of course, Tuesday Night Live with Chevy Chanko, because Saturday Night Live was taken already. Yeah. 
they stole it from us before we had a chance to even yeah. put the CD out. Yeah. And, uh, and that's it. Fun for all. And we're probably going to be um, raffling off Steve Mazur's uh, minivan. Vincent is not yet. Don't anybody tell him because uh, we're going to give it. The, the lock in the back doesn't work. And sometimes you have to hit it like this a couple of times and push. And, but it, it, once you get it going with your foot, it's okay. So, you know, he needs a new van anyway, so we're going to give his away, and uh, that'll force him to buy a new van where the locks work. And um, actually, Steve won't be here. He's going to be in New Jersey for the weekend. Um, but we're so we're having a party at his house. Party at his house afterwards. After the show. Yes, it's yeah. going to be at his house. He got a new dog. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're but gonna, very friendly. Yeah, though. it better be. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> it's friendly because we're yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're we're going to uh, premiere a new Chinese cookbook called Fifty Ways to Walk Your Dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. like, just kidding. Come on, it's a joke. Play it. It's it. Um, no, he'll. Um, He'll not be here for the weekend, but we're not raffling off his car because we, can't. we have to pay people to buy raffle tickets. But maybe we'll raffle somebody else's car off. Yeah. See how people are in good yeah. mood. That's right. So come one, come all. We'll see you on the 16th. No, no flash photography. Flash. No cameras. You can flash us, but just not with the camera. <laughs> no, of course you can. Yeah. Oh yeah. We. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. We. Yeah, we, we, yeah of course. We and, and love to sign. Parts. People's, people's things. Yeah, we sign people's things. Yeah, yeah, any yeah. kind of things. You know, we'll sign these posters uh, if you want. Uh, it's a nice poster. Maybe they won't want to. Maybe, Maybe they'll maybe. run for the hills. But we will. We definitely will. We'd like okay. to thank our president's local board, Sikuno, for designing the poster and putting all the relevant information and spelling Bachinsky's last name correctly. Yeah, honest to God. Isn't that something? Yeah. Nobody spells it correctly. No. You need three sets of letter set just to get enough Zs. Yeah. B-A-C-Z, Y-N-S-K-Y-J, that's it. Yeah, anything else to say? Uh, no, just... That's it. Play with this, make yeah. something. Yeah. And see you on the 16th. Yeah. Shisko, bardzo dobrze. Widzenia. <laughs>